Talking with Atlanta Hawks head coach Larry Drew here at the Las Vegas Summer League. Coach Drew, getting ready to watch your Summer League team in action. Uh, how nice is it to have this back after last year not having it with the lockout? Well, we really missed it last year. You know, this is a very uh, great vehicle um, as far as observing and, and evaluating these players who, you know, who you draft and, and guys who are free agents that you, you want to get a look at. Um, you know, you get a chance to see them measure up against, uh, you know, their peers. And uh, I definitely missed it last year. I'm glad, uh, glad it's back, and it's uh, good to be in Vegas. Uh, you have your first-round pick on the team, John Jenkins. What in particular are you hoping to see from the sharpshooter from Vanderbilt? Well, John can, uh, you know, he can really shoot the basketball. I mean, that, uh, that's never been a, a question about his, uh, you know, his ability. I'm, I'm anxious to see how he does defensively. Uh, moving to this level, you know, you, you've got to be able to bend, uh, particularly at that position, and uh, we'll get a chance to see him, and I'm, I'm hoping he'll go out, uh, you know, he'll play well, more importantly, he'll, you know, he'll do a good job defensively. Coach, this has been a really active summer for you guys. Uh, Marvin Williams gets traded, Joe Johnson gets traded. Can you give us your thoughts on, on the moves that new general manager Derry Ferry made in pretty quick manner? Well, you know, this is that's the business. I mean, um, you know, if you've been around this game as long as I've been around, um, you know, trades happen. It's all a part of it. Uh, some trades are made, to, to, you know, for financial reasons. Some are made, uh, you know, it's a, a personal reasons that, that may help the team. But it's the nature of this business. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm really excited with the direction that we're going, and I look forward to working with Danny. Uh, do you expect there to be a little bit of a transition period given the sizable roles that Marvin Williams and Joe Johnson had on the team? Uh, possibly, possibly. But, you uh, you know, whoever's on our team, we know we have a, uh, you know, we have a defined system on, on what we do, and, and uh, me and my coaching staff is our job to prepare the team to the best of our capabilities, and we'll continue to do that. Coach, you, you have made some additions as well. You bring in Lou Williams, signed him to a free agent contract. Can you tell us uh, what kind of benefits you're going to bring with, with him on the team next year? Well, Lou is uh, certainly a guy who uh, we've always admired. I mean, he's a guy who can really score the basketball, and uh, his ability to score both inside and out uh, gives you uh, gives you a really uh, uh, added uh, you know added weapon to, uh, offensively. You know, he's a guy who's been on a great system, been on a great coach in uh, Doug Collins, and. Um, he was always a guy on, on our radar. I mean, we know that uh, you know he can really uh, put it put it in the basket with the best of them. And um, you know, I'm glad he's a part of our organization right now, and I'm very excited about working with him. Coach, and last question I have for you: uh, Josh Smith seemed like he was unhappy early on in the summer. Then, with the moves that Danny Ferry made, it seemed like he backed off his desire to leave Atlanta. Uh, have you talked to Josh lately? Where do things stand with him? I spoke to Josh, and he's very excited about coming back to Atlanta.